Hello everyone, GMGM. GM. Welcome to the Solana Changelog. I'm Nick from the Solana Foundation DevRel team, and today I've got Jacob with me. How are you doing, Jacob? I'm doing well. How are you doing? I'm doing amazing. I'm excited for this changelog. Lots of deprecation things. Yes, there's a lot of different changes going on with, what, 2.0, right? Yep, 2.0. So let's just go ahead and dive into some of these commits. There's, uh, I, I cherry-picked a couple of commits to talk about that are about all the deprecation things. Basically, anything that's been deprecated for longer than uh, 1.18 now that we're on 2.0 and higher, all of that deprecated code is going to be, uh, it's currently in the works of like being removed. So if you're using any deprecated functions, RPC calls, syscalls, like you need to make sure you're double checking your code to make sure that you are using the new non-deprecated um, functions and calls for those. And uh, Stephen Lucher also even added a, uh, this other commit to add a Mergeify um, like bot helper to make it so when anything gets deprecated in the future, it gives the, the PR creator a friendly reminder to make sure that they update the uh, respective clients, like the JavaScript client or the Rust client. So that way we like get proper deprecation warnings everywhere. Right. And this is only for like people that are upgrading to 2.0, right? Uh, so if they, th this yes, is going to be but, removed in 2.0. Yeah. So one, after version 2.0 and, and these commits go live, they'll be removed. But for things like RPC calls, where once the clusters, once supermajority of the clusters start running these versions, all of those uh, RPC calls and sysfars and things, they're going to be gone, no longer accessible. Makes sense. That makes sense. Uh, speaking of 2.0, uh, so a lot of people that are developing with uh, SPL program or something on, with, on, on chain with the Solana programs, they might be running into issues right now. And if you've seen this issue being created that I created uh, there's a lot of different changes that have to happen to some of the different crates mm -hmm. to make them properly compatible. There's basically a problem with 2.0 um, that caused it to be pulled in with all the 1.x uh, dependencies. So this is still being worked on. It should be fixed by the time of this video is released. If not, like very soon after. Uh, you can see right here on the screen, there's just a ton of different merge yeah, ton of working on it. <laughs> Yeah, I think John Chinkway was basically working on it for a full week uh, and then started trying to get all the last dependencies that he didn't have full control over uh, merged as well. So hopefully it should be merged or should be fixed very soon. Um, but yeah, if you are having trouble with 2.0, there are some workarounds There should be listed in this issue. Uh, definitely check it out and hopefully we'll have the DevX better very soon. Yeah, absolutely. In other news, we have another commit that was made by 2501babe, uh, Hana. Uh, this is the stake program changes with move stake and move land ports. Uh, this is specifically the implementation of Cindy 148. So if you're interested in knowing more about uh, what this fully entails, you can go to Cindy 148 and figure out, hey, what what is the full design of this? Basically, too long didn't read, moving stake from between stake accounts that have the same authority. Uh, so definitely check this out. It's a cool change. I'm looking forward to being live at some point on the cluster. Yeah, same. Makes uh, makes things for stake pool operators and, and users of stake pools a little bit easier, which is nice. Yep. And then on to developer resources for the week. Web3.js tech preview number four is out. It's official. Um, so the latest version, latest iteration of the new Web3.js is out by the Web3.js team. Stephen Lucier and Loris and all the amazing devs over there. So if you haven't already, take a look at the tech previews, the, the newest one. Give it a try. Figure out, like, this is your opportunity as a developer in the ecosystem to give, like, some really good, uh, really good feedback on the things you do and do not like about how this works. Like, build something with it. Give, give your, uh, share your thoughts, open issues on the GitHub repo, and we can make this, um, the new version of Web3.js, just, just amazingly better. Yes, and just looking at this, it looks like it has compatibility with the wallet standard finally, um, which was yes. a lot of people's like they were waiting for that to try it out, which makes sense. You need to connect to wallets. Yes, <laughs> um, so th that's cool. Definitely check it out. Tell us the problems. See, make it better. And then next up here is the Solana request for comments, the SRFCs. You can find them all on forum.solana.com. Basically, just a public forum for anyone to open. Uh, sort of an open dialogue about anything in the Solana ecosystem. There are currently a couple of SRFCs that are going around for that are pretty much focused on blinks, blinks and actions, which is like the new hot thing in the ecosystem. So check out some of these SRFCs if you have ideas for things that could be better, could be changed within the Solana ecosystem. 
feel free to post your own SRFC. And speaking about Blinks, I think you have a new tool to show us, right? I do. I've been I've been hard at work on this. So Blinks.xyz is this uh, this new tool that I've been working on. You can find it just Blinks.xyz, and specifically the inspector. So one of the problems that people keep running into is how to make sure that when they're building Blinks and actions, is how to make sure that like it works correctly. You can do you can use the amazing tools that Dialect has put together, like Dial.2, in order to do some of the testing, but uh, so I built this tool, put it together, and basically you can share, you can enter in your URL of whatever blank URL you're trying to test. And it does a whole bunch of checks on what information uh, is kind of required per the spec in order for your blank and action to actually work. So you can see full responses of like your action JSON. You can look at the data that actually gets returned from the get endpoint. You see the URL here. And then you can also test the um, actual actions that are submitted. So in this case, it generates a random wallet. You can actually submit the post request. You can make sure that you get a valid response. And then you can see the base 64 transaction here. And then you can do whatever you want with that, um, including if the particular action takes an input, you can also enter in that input right here directly within the Blinks XYZ inspector. So check it out. And then for like people that want to then look, make, double check their transaction, can they just put it into like the Explorer inspector to make sure that it matches what they have? Absolutely. You can copy and paste this, go to explorer.slide.com. In fact, you know what? I'll probably add like a little quick button to just open it directly in the Explorer and make it easy. Yeah, that'd be really cool. That way we can like verify that it equals what we expected it to equals. Oh, yeah. All right, cool. And then last but not least, we have Stack Exchange. Stack Exchange. Uh, so we have a bunch of people that looks like some actually some newcomers up top. I see Chalda. I haven't seen Chalda up there before. Um, John, of course, J Jimmy, Ari, Acheron is helping out with a lot of the changes. Uh, <laughs> we have Andre, AS Coria, I don't know Effie. So it's good to see some new people oh, yeah, showing up. Nice. Yeah. Great to see some new people show up on the Stack Exchange rankings. As a gentle reminder, like this, helping out the Stack Exchange and answering people's questions helps out all developers in the ecosystem. We have what? That's yeah. 20,000 total 20, users. 20,000 users. Wow. That, that is a lot of developers. Um, so we have a lot of people looking for help and also a lot of people trying to help each other out. So if you've ever tried look, Googling a question that or an error that you've had while development and you found Stack Exchange, that means it's working. Please help out even more <laughs> is what I'll say. Yes, um, please. But that's about it we have to, for this week's Changelog. Thank you all for joining us and we will see you next week. Bye-bye. <laughs>